All right, so here we go, the Simpson Outlaw Bandit. Excited to talk to you about this one. I've talked to you about the Ghost Bandit for years, probably since 2015, and now it's time for us to take it to the next level and talk about the Outlaw Bandit. First and foremost, shout out to Simpson out in Texas for sponsoring the video and coming through with the helmet. We're excited to test it out and put some more miles on it. I say put some more miles on it because I actually do have an Outlaw Bandit already. If you've seen the one that Jace over at Fast Life painted along with my bike that is an outlaw bandit so i have a good amount of miles on it already but this one i'm gonna really put it to the test and put that much more on so yeah this is the situation right it's the year 2022 you have a fleet of the most cool guy bikes available you have your dyna fx dx you have your fxr of course you have your hot rod fx dls and uh you know you got your bars your two into one exhaust you got your suspension what's the only thing that's missing well what's missing is the most cool guy helmet on the market the simpson outlaw bandit you've seen it you know it so what we're gonna do i don't usually do this but we'll do a little unboxing i'll do it by layers you know we'll take it out of the box so you can kind of see what's going on and you know i'll talk to you a little bit about about my impressions on it so far with um thousands of miles i've already done on it so again i have a lot i could tell you about it first and foremost if you're in the market for a new helmet and i'm hoping this might answer a couple questions so yeah fresh out the box straight from new braunfels texas yeah of course the shield is in the box so we are all set to go so let's open this thing and see what's going on contents of the box is of course the gold shield the helmet itself and the helmet bag to protect the helmet let's go a little bit further so unboxing complete and what we have here is an array of items but pretty simple so of course, we have the Simpson Outlaw Bandit in all of its glory coming in with the clear visor stock, right? So that's what it's looking like out the box. So we're also coming in with different size paddings, right? And of course, like I said, we do have a gold shield here as well, which we're going to throw on this helmet. So there's our Simpson Outlaw Bandit. You know, as you can see, it's got that classic Simpson styling with, you know, a little bit more simplicity than maybe the Ghost Bandit or their Mod Bandit. This is just your all around classic Simpson Dynabro full face helmet. Doesn't get more Dynabro than that. And yeah, so uh, that's pretty much what you're getting out the box. That's what you could expect, right? Let's take a second. Let's get this shield on. You know, something that you should know is, you know, the Outlaw Bandit is definitely a lot less frills than, say, the Ghost Bandit. So what that means is putting on the shield, we're going to need to bust out our screwdriver and actually take out those screws and manually screw it in so let's take a second let's get this uh gold shield in all right so there we go beep bop boom got that gold visor in and we are now looking good yeah it really wasn't that big of an issue to get it in there you know it's gonna take you a minute right it's not obviously not gonna be as fast as having one of the quick detach ones but again i don't think it's enough to ruin your day and me personally i don't really plan on taking that visor off i do run um riding glasses underneath these so if i ever need to open it up it's not an issue but yeah wasn't really that big of a deal and definitely makes a huge difference in terms of aesthetics so there we go that's your standard simpson outlaw bandit fresh out the box with a brand new visor um unboxing is done great i hate doing those <laughs> so now let's uh talk a little bit about what you're getting from this helmet specifically if you're someone that's ran simpson before or you're curious about it who the audience might be for this helmet why you might want to run this one and yeah we'll take it from there so yeah you know like i said threw it on you know it, it is not a quick detach you do have to actually take the screws off in terms of the helmet itself like i said super minimal you know no chin curtain in here you have the standard padding like i said cheek pads easily detachable you could swap them out for a smaller size if it's too tight for you and then yeah all the padding comes out and like i said it's no frills so you know don't expect to get cutouts for your headphones but i still run a lexan unit with my other outlaw bandit and it's not an issue yeah man like i said if you're looking for a full face helmet that is that is in essence simplicity and 100 looks cooler than any other full face helmet out there this is the one for you now what i'm going to say is more specifically for people who have run simpson helmets before one of the things that i really appreciate about the company is i've been pretty vocal over the years specifically about the latest iteration of the ghost bandit helmets i used to tour on the ghost bandit their first iteration which came out 
in either 2015 or 2016. It was a great fitting helmet for me. And like I said, I ran, I ran it cross country. I ran it into Canada. It was a good helmet. And somewhere along the line, they switched up the sizing on those helmets. So all of a sudden, a medium fit me really big and then a small was too small. So I kind of gave up on the Ghost Bandit for a while. The way that I found my way back to Simpson was when I went to get my bike painted by Fast Life. I was like, all right, if Fast Life's going to do it, if I'm going to have Jace do it, then obviously I'm going to have him paint a Simpson helmet for me. And I was like, you know what? I never tried the Outlaw. Let's just try it and let's see how it goes. So my expectations when I first got, when I got my first Outlaw was that I was just going to run the helmet to like, if I was doing a bike night or taking pictures or something, literally it was just going to run the helmet just to look cool <laughs> and have a good looking helmet that would go along with the paint of the bike. And then I remember just being really surprised. And the first thing that I was surprised about with the Outlaw is it fit me like the original Ghost Bandit fit me back in 2015. So suddenly the fit, which was the biggest problem I had with the Ghost Bandit, was solved. It fit me like a glove. And I couldn't believe it, man. It like almost fit me better than my showy. So combined with a really good fit, also with just how light the helmet was, I was initially pretty happy with it. I, I did some pretty good mild days with the helmet, you know, and one one of the things that I was concerned about was the venting in the helmet. Like I remember, you know, you only got these three vents here and you got the three vents over here and you don't have any vents in the top. You can see it's, it's solid, right? So I remember just thinking to myself, like, that's not going to be enough venting for the hot summer days. But then the strangest thing happened, which was not only did I really like the fit of the helmet, obviously I liked the look of the helmet, you know, you know no one's going to argue that Simpson helmets look cool. But I remember just being so surprised at the amount of airflow I was getting just from these vents, you know? And I guess when you think about it, you know, they're pretty significant in size compared to chin venting on other helmets. So believe it or not, like I thought the helmet was not going to be good to run in the summer, but it actually surpassed my expectations and it was pretty good. The crazy anecdotal I have to tell you, and maybe someone in the comment section could tell me why this might be, but the craziest thing is that for whatever reason, my Shoei RF 1400, which has significantly more venting than this helmet, when I ran this helmet with my FXRT fairing, you know, my hot rod Dyna, I would get more airflow out of this helmet, even though it had less venting. So I think it has to do with something where the FXRT fairing was pushing wind straight into the chin of the helmet and for whatever reason the outlaw bandit was a better helmet for me to run when i was running my hot rod diana which obviously we're not uh hanging out with right now and yeah that really surprised me so again the combination of finally finding a Simpson helmet in the year 2022 that fit me really good, as well as being able to run it in a realistic way, I was kind of blown away. And that's kind of how we're at this moment here where I have yet another one. This one, the reason why I have it is I plan on trying, I plan on putting some more heavy miles on it, like using it with these two bikes, my DX and my FXR, seeing how it does with those, as well as uh, motovlogging with it. I want to see how it's going to do motovlogging. And then, you know, I want to really push it to the limit. You know, I want to take it on a bike trip. I want to see how it could do on a bike trip, how it could do in the rain. Like I said, this isn't like an initial first impression video. I ran an Outlaw Bandit all summer, you know, my painted one by Jace. But, um, and I have a lot of miles under my belt. But I have yet to push it and do, say, like a thousand mile day and see how that goes. Or I have yet to push it through some like seriously heavy rain. And I have yet to push it through the winter. So that's kind of the content you could expect coming forward is I will definitely be putting it through those tests and see how it goes. But from running it over the summer and doing the miles that I did... I'm pretty happy with it, man, which is how we're doubling down on it now and we're going to be running it a lot more. So, and yeah, it's just, it's just kind of a crazy thing because I just remember over all the years watching so many of my friends run this helmet and just seeing so many really good riders actually run this helmet. And I just always ask myself, like, why would they not run the Ghost Bandit? Like, why would they not run the better helmet that you could put a pin lock into that has better venting, that has all these other really good features that you would want? in a helmet and then it was the moment that i actually put one of these on that i understood the simplicity of the helmet really is the key and again whatever they got going on in terms of the fit for this helmet and the airflow it just works and the only way i could explain it is just try it so 
what I would tell you if like you're in the market for one of these helmets and you're someone who's like, should I get a ghost bandit? Should I get an outlaw bandit? My advice to you right now is if you put on a ghost bandit and it feels really good, if the fit doesn't feel too loose or whatever, and it's working out for you, run, run the ghost bandit, right? You know, it's going to have better features. But if you're someone like me where you've tried Simpson helmets in the past and you've had fitment issues or things just didn't work, then I would say, Try this outlaw bandit because again, having something really simple and having something just work has been really nice. And I'm excited to kind of double down on this thing and put some more miles on it. So that's kind of my story. Again, I would definitely recommend you at least trying one on, you know, go to your local motorcycle shop. I'm sure they'll have, I'm sure you could find one within a hundred miles and just try one on and see how it feels. Cause again, it was like an epiphany when I put this helmet on, it was like, Oh, that's what I needed. I just needed the outlaw bandit. And like I said, it finally clicked of why I saw so many people running this helmet for so long. So that's it, man. You know, you had um, cool guy Dynabro summer. You know, you got your FXR dialed in. You know, you got your DX dialed in. You got your hot rod Dyna with white flames. You know, the only thing left to do is ride off into the sunset with a Simpson helmet. And I'm recommending that you do that with the Outlaw Bandit. Give it a shot. <laughs> But in all seriousness, y'all, in the miles that I did, I was happy with it. So I could definitely recommend this helmet to you right now. Or I could at least recommend that you give it a try on and give it a shot. Because I wouldn't think that for the miles that I do that the helmet would work for me. But, you know, it turned out to be a slam dunk this summer. And that's it. I'm excited to keep it moving. So yeah, you know, I'll put more videos up specifically putting it through different tests, etc. So stay tuned. Um, if you have any questions about the Outlaw Bandit or the Ghost Bandit, those are the two that I have a lot of experience with. I do not have much experience with the Street Bandit, the Speed Bandit, or the Mod Bandit. Um, but who knows, maybe in the future we'll do something. Again, shout out to the good folks over at Simpson for making this one possible. And that's it, y'all. Stay safe, stay low, keep your head protected, be a true Dyna Bro, rock a Simpson helmet, and on that, FXCLS Brooklyn is out.